folks, Nick Harrington here, and I kind of wanted to go over my, my range of crankbaits that I use, kind of the spectrum of baits I use. So I'm going to walk you through kind of my bait selection. So when I'm looking for fish, when I'm on a new water body, or even if I want to fish really aggressively like midsummer, I'm going to kind of deploy in the Rapala Shad Dancer family, the Tail Dancer family. So this right here is a number number 11 Rapala Tail Dancer, and this right here is a number 7 Rapala Shad Dancer. So I'll have a variation of these colors, a variation of these. Um, I might do an 11, I might do a 9, but this is for when I'm fishing aggressively, I'm looking for fish, or I know I know where fish are and I really want to target those larger fish too. These are these are great baits. They have wide wobbles. They're balsa. They do really well in clear water, but their wide wobble can go can do well pretty where anywhere you're fishing. Now beyond that, the next one I kind of go is if I'm in dirtier water or if I want to draw a bit more attention, I'll do the Berkeley Flicker Shads or the Berkeley Flicker Minnows. And I have that backwards, Flicker Shads, Flicker Minnows. So um, again, various sizes, I might pull an 11, I might pull a nine. This one right here would be a, would be a nine. Um, this one right here is a number seven in the Shad. Um, these ones do have rattles, they're plastic bait. So they do really well in that kind of murkier water, that dirtier water, because I want to have a little bit more noise, a little bit more sound going down there. Um, this one, a nice wide action. And this one's still a good action, but just not as tight, not as wide. It's a little tighter wobble. Um, so this is kind of my, my next spectrum that I might be fishing, whether I'm in murky water or kind of dark conditions. And then when I get into like a clear water scenario, that's when I like to use shad wrap. So this would be um, a balsa bait again, again, a little bit more of a tighter wobble compared to all these other baits. This does really well in that those clear waters um, when fish are maybe a little bit more neutral. I like to put down these, I like to put down these balsa baits. Again, this is a number seven shad wrap. And then kind of my other one, kind of my alternate you could say, would be a Samuel Hornet. So this is a completely different action and profile kind of than the other baits I've shared. It kind of has a shad profile, but also does really well in the king, mimicking like white bass. Um, so this here is a number five. It's actually on the larger scale of the Hornets that I use. I'll even use like fours or even three and a halves if I want to have just a tight little wobble down there. But the reason I use this one is just to be a little bit different, to get a little bit ac different action, a little bit different profile down there. Um, again, it might be your top bait depending on the water body or it might be something that just puts a few extra fish in the boat compared to the other baits. So don't be afraid to put one of these out as well. But yeah, that's kind of the overview I have. If I'm looking for fish, if I'm really fishing aggressively, I like those Rapala tail dancers and shad dancers. If I'm kind of the next step below that, I would go like Berkeley flicker minnow, Berkeley flicker shad, or then in that clear water, a little more neutral scenario I go with that balsa wrap a shad wrap and then again don't be afraid to put down like a Salmo Hornet or even like a walleye nations creations Reaper that's another one that gives just kind of a different action so don't be afraid to mix them up vary them up but if you kind of start with that core and then kind of know your spectrum of baits you're overall gonna have the best success going from water body to water body and situation to situation good fishing